a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Four. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Please, NYPD! Found him! Ah. 
she's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Pain. Winterson! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it! Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck! Did you do it? You killed her! No, I can't. Oh, bullshit! running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Fan those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. 
It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Thing when they do that. Hey! storage, but it had been cleaned out.
The answering machine had a message on it. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. Uh, what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let it die! Ah! You can't hide! Oh! Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily Stop dead. Him. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning.
My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, pain. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call back up. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest monster body count hey, they ever. They want more? We'll kill them. Right, Fats? They got what's coming. Die. Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you! Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Christ, now! Got some heavy away. shit here! Tone it down! Just five. take every- oh, 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 Get them! Get them! Oh, 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 oh. Who thought you were stupid? Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Chip one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Minnie's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with his toys. Gun business is our business. Ours. I don't care who says otherwise. We're in the gun business. Right. What can you do?
that was bad. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already.
even trying! Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! Cognitti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. Mystery. Desperate to catch him. To find my girlfriend. To save her.
Tokyo. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. You better answer that. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot the kill. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. Put it down now. Drop your weapon. My hero. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona. I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. You're done for! Something was barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. Oh, no, you won't. Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Okay, let's see that shotgun. 
Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so... Wants his taking to Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, man. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the toms. I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They've been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Days in the countryside with my bed. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance I to disarm the bomb. TV. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. It's not the space there!
I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they were I die, I die. Thanks, fellas. You sick. They bought the door from the outside. This is a terrible time. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeon. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed, no. You know Ed, the janitor. Oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. And I have... Tell you twice. Return to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights. This cold series, Address Unknown. All the episodes in a row. A real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I
The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here, the dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Like you. All right, follow my lead. Goddamn, yeah. my bags open up. There <laughs> that are was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. She up and left me. Ah, sure. Started hitting the bottle. <laughs> Anyone? Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. You coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'll take care of this. You stay put. Oh, I'm violent. Come on, we're moving. I thought baby. you'd never ask. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juice. Uh, More of that. Freeze, suckers! <laughs> Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Second thought, you better stay, you better stay behind. Ah, right. You know where to find me. Why the hell would I risk my life for this? Anyway, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do <laughs>
Hey, hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cognetti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had done the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny.
A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who yes, we are? This is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones.